In the red, our Zerg player. He is Lino for you. Very dominant player in the series. And in the blue, so far he's been our jobber in this match. So let's live forever. There so he is. hopefully he'll do Poor better. Guy. By the way, guys, don't forget to send in questions for our players. Mm -hmm. So the amazing Artosis can ask them. Can do that. Can I just from here now call you the amazing Artosis so it makes you sound like a magician? Aren't I a magician? <laughs> no, because magicians, it's like fake magic. No, you I'm can be a wizard. Magic. I'm. You I'm, can be a wizard. I'm a wizard. Artosis could be the name of a wizard. I just want to point that out. No, it couldn't. Yeah, it could. No. No, like, it's like, my like, name. It's my name. <laughs> Can't make fun of it. It's mine. Uh, now, note he is scouting with the drone very early now. He's saying, all right, am I going to get proxied? Because I don't think this guy can beat me in a standard game. Yeah, that's actually exactly That's exactly true. what he's That's thinking. why he sent that drone so quick. Because he realizes, okay, I just need to know what he's going to do early game. And then I should be able to win based upon what I saw last game. And that's just, that's smart. It's adapting your opponent. Yeah. That's what that is, Jesus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look out, drone. Come back here. Well, he just wants to see if there's a second barracks up, and there is yeah. going to be a second barracks. And he's gained all the information he truly needs right now. Oh, he's going to get that SCB, maybe? You know. It would be smart if uh, we see a really well thought out build order here by Next Live Forever. I would love for him to clear out that drone and then go for barracks. I think that's going to be his best shot. Send all your SCVs just all in hardcore. Yeah, actually, that's, that's a great not, idea. That's not a build that you really need to practice a whole lot to pull off. As long as you know how to build uh, supply depots and press that M key or whatever key it is that makes Marines now. I don't play Terran anymore. Oh, you're an adorable guy, man. Thanks. Uh... This drone's still out in the middle of the map. Moving out. Just realized how not heterosexual that compliment I just gave you was. Adorable guy. <laughs> I'm adorable. You are adorable. Um, now, we have a um, hatchery on the way here. Almost he done. He's going to want to bring down some drones. There is a rush coming, Tasteless. It's happening. Now, I don't know if uh, Lenok is, has a control of Fruit Dealer. Now he's going to leapfrog with the bunkers. This is already not going to work because the spine crawler's up. Yeah, spine crawler's being made. Zerglings are being made. I don't even think Lenok actually has to engage this. No, probably not. You, you actually can just, just go back and I would actually minerals. make like two spine crawlers and get Zergling speed as quickly as possible. That'd be my goal here. So he only needs to attack if the uh, spine crawler's under attack because after that, I mean, the, oh. spine, when the spine crawler's up. This isn't going to work anymore. Ooh, almost kills that SCV off. It's an amazing engagement where nobody loses anything, basically. Yeah, just a lot of damage dealt. Everyone's a little bit hurt. It was an unpleasant thing for everybody. Just an unpleasant experience <laughs> Not overall. a tragedy, but it was unpleasant. Yeah. So, um, you know, having the bunker there doesn't really serve much of a purpose anymore. Meanwhile, uh, Command Center on the way. It's a very soft contain. It does make Leenok make, you know, a few more Zerglings. Be a little bit scared. Yeah, notice that. It's getting ready like a cat. The spine crawler? Yeah. Yeah, it moves its little head. Yep. It's like it sees it. It's like the feather toy I wave around at my cat. And then it pounces. How's your little cat doing, Artosis? It's cuter than ever, Tasteless. I got it what, a dragon costume. What's his name? Mr. Cuddlepuff or whatever? <laughs> Seeky. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, command Center almost done. So, Lenok Boyu is, uh, no, excuse me, next Lip Forever is actually going to opt for a pretty standard textbook game. Yeah. He's leaving the bunker. I don't know if that's the best decision you in know, the world. It, it's surprising me, I have to say, for him to do this. Uh, maybe he has real oh. builds. You know, maybe... Well, it looks like that bunker's going to be taken out pretty easily. But uh, maybe we're being too hard on Live Forever. Maybe that build was some weird thing he came up in the weird metagame of his team or something like that. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe he has some real builds up his sleeve that he's going to do. He is making five barracks, so... I would say most certainly we're going to see some sort of timing rush. Uh, I believe. Can you check the main for me real fast, Artosis? I believe he stopped mining uh, gas for a little bit there, but he started mining again. Yeah. This Marine spots the Zerglings. 
And of course, that will stop the rocks from being destroyed. Terran does not want to lose those rocks. The whole no. game changes when those rocks are gone. That is quite true. Zerg gets all over the place. You want a good example of that? Watch Fruit Dealer. It's first match yesterday against SC Foyu. Mm -hmm. More and more Marines on the way here. He's probably going to go for a stim timing push. Getting combat shields and um, stim on the at the same time. Yeah. And he's going to want to do that before any uh, Baneling speed is out. I don't know if that's possible. If Lenok Foyu goes straight to it, it's going to be pretty hard. But he's also shown a great proclivity to go Infester. And yes, he obviously, does have that tendency, yeah. one fungal growth will end that type of a timing push. For sure's. Faux sure. show. For reals. Evolution Chamber on the way. Spine Crawler on the way. You can see he's guarded against the possibility of uh, Hellion harassment, even though that's not the case. Zerg's in the dark, actually, right now. Yeah. But I, I love the way he's playing Tasis. Making a wall like that, he's like, okay, from what I saw last game, you actually can't beat Lenok. That's what Lenok is saying. He's speaking in third person. He's like same, Tasteless. Same thing Tasteless does Tasteless when Tasteless speaks is hurt. Tasteless speaks in third person sometimes. But Lenok does it because he's tough. It's a difference. I just do it because uh, I'm a very sensitive guy. Okay. Uh-oh, he's going to lose uh, an Overlord over here at nope. the bottom left. No, it lives. Excuse me. We didn't get a shot of that. Anyways, the combat shields on the way, stim on the way. Uh, concussive shell is going to be upgraded shortly thereafter. So, yep. looks like it's going to be a pretty much two base. Please die build. All right, let's see if it works. Two base timing pushes can work, even if you're uh, generally superior to your opponent. He's got enough yep. marauders in there to tank banelings. And tasteless, it is coming. Will he not live through this? I really don't know. He's actually, starting he could to make... very easily lose this. Yeah, he might actually die to this. He only has two spine crawlers and a handful of zerglings. Stim just about finished. This is a lot of units coming through the center of the map here. He's going to want to put Dude, his Dude, I think he's about front. to lose this, man. He may. Just one SCV. He's like, I want to be one of the big boys, too. Too bad. Okay, he's actually, uh, Lenox could very well lose this game. A the lot of Zerglings come are coming out. He's micro those Marines back a little bit too far there, but it does get up against the side. And oh, he's going to lose. Tasteless. We're going to go to a third game. We may indeed. GG. Wow. Wow. Indeed. Um, well. Well. Look at you next flip forever. We were giving you a hard time, but you are coming back. Well, we can still give him a hard time. We so. give everybody a hard time. Nobody's safe here. Nobody. Nobody's Except safe. He's amazing. Quiet. He's a perfect person. Um, well, uh, that was a bit surprising. I think Lenok uh, well, you know, got that a little was, overconfident. It was a five barracks stim yeah. timing push. It wasn't the yeah. normal one that you see is four barracks, and that allows more transition. This one was really like, here are all my minerals. They are all spent on these units. This has to work. Yeah. If Lenok had crushed true. that, then suddenly he's sitting there with five barracks and no units. He's like, hmm, I don't have anything. Turns out I uh, can't win the game, so I got to tap out. Well, we're going to go on a jungle basin. It's a hard map, Tasteless, for Zerg. We could have a huge upset. That would be a gigantic upset. If I'm Liv talking like beats earthquakes Lenoch. start happening and stuff, yeah. and the, the sun turns black, and, you know, locusts come out, you know, and it, oh, it could be. You can't see them, though. World changing thing. The countdown's begun, though, so let's get ready and see if that's the case.